He's down 4-2, two, two on two outs. Knoblock busts out the whooping stick for a three-run shot. Texas scored four on David Cohn in the first. Yang scored five on Mike Morgan in the second. Knoblock's 13th of the season. Bottom of the second, tied at five. Cohn still in trouble. Runner on second for Juan Gonzalez. Base hit. Rusty Greer come on down. Rangers up 6-5. Cohn pulled after giving up six runs in one and two-thirds. Bottom of the eighth, Yankees up 7-6. Mike Stanton gives up the lead to... Back goes Bernie Williams. Lee Stevens ties the game at seven. On his 20th of the season, Stanton had thrown 14 straight scoreless innings. Top of the 11, still tied at seven runners on second and third. Two outs for Tino Martinez at your service. Off of Corey Lee making his major league debut. Yankees up 10-7 on Tino's 20th. Bottom of the 11th, Rangers still down by three. Two on, two outs, 3-2 count for Pudge Rodriguez. Swinging. Mariano Rivera closes it as the Yankees win 10 7 in 11 innings to improve to 6 and 1 in extra innings. Jim Tomey bust out the cold cuts. Grand Salami time. Third Grand Slam this season, tying him for the Major League lead. Indians up 5 0. 5 1 in the bottom of the third. Bases full of athletics for John Jaha. Bust out the cold cuts here. It's like the Carnegie Deli. We got cold cuts everywhere. A's eighth slam of the season. That that's a new team record. Jaws 29th. We're tied at five. It's now a 10-9 Indians lead in the bottom of the eighth when Randy Velarde busts out the whooping stick on Paul Shuey. Velarde's second of the game ties at a 10. And two batters later now for the man who hit the grand slam earlier in the game, John Jaha. Opposite field. 30th of the season. The A's win it 11-10, to 10, hitting six home runs. That's a season high for Oakland. Randy Velarde, first career multi-homer game. Junior off of Willie Blair. Wallet takes one the other way. 40th of the season, most in the American League. Mariners up 3-0. More than enough for Freddie Garcia. First inning against Juan Encarnacion. Fourth inning against Juan Encarnacion. And Bill Hasselman in the fifth. Garcia struck out 12 batters in the game. Bottom of the fifth. Junior against Blair again in the Blair Pitch Project sequel. Even scarier than the first. 41st home run of the season. Seventh player in Major League history to hit 40 homers in four consecutive seasons. First career multi-homer game at Safeco Field. Four no score. Some good Met defense. Ricky Gutierrez deep the other way. Benny Agbayani makes the grab. Top second. Still no score. Carl Everett against Machado Yoshi. 21st on the year. Fourth straight game with a home run for Everett. One nothing Astros. Bottom seven. Mets still down one nothing. One nothing. And Mike Piazza at the plate. 31st on the year. Game tied at one. And it would stay tied at one into the 10th. Astros with two men aboard. Gutierrez against Dennis Cook. That brings in Tony Eusebio for the go-ahead run. Astros up 2-1, but there would be more. Next batter, Jeff Bagwell. Gone. Fly ball, right field. Is he your MVP in the National League this year? 38 home runs and a clutch hit here. Astros win it 5-1 in 10. To start since June 12th. And there he is, bottom one, runners at the corners, one zip Braves, Andrew Jones getting his block party on. Chipper Jones scores 12-game hitting streak for Andrew, two zip Braves after one. Top two, one out, runner on first, Eddie Thomas hitting short. Jose Hernandez, my bad. His 14th error of the year, the inning stays alive, everybody's safe. Next batter, Aaron Boone, peace. On a two-for-four night to increase his batting average to 300, Jack's his ninth homer of the year, and who that is? That's just my baby mama. It's Aaron's mom. 3-2 Reds. Bottom six, Andrew Jones up again. Tied at three again. RBI single for Jones. Brian Jordan scores. Second RBI of the night for Jones. 72 for the year. Next batter, Hernandez. Remember his error? Well, forget it, because he made up for it. To the gap in right center. Ryan Klesko, Jones score. Hernandez, two for four in the night. 6-3 Braves. That would be it for Pete Harnish. And then the Braves defense makes the lead hold up. Little brother Aaron hit a jack for the Reds. Big brother Brett. Nice glove for the Braves getting Greg Vaughn. And mom wins either way. Well, Braves win the game 6-4. John Smoltz was at his locker trying to remember the last time he won. Uh, let me think, he said. That's it was the first moment for Ducey. Well hit ball, just a single. Ducey's one for one. His second at bat, that's another single. Ducey, two for two. Feel free to count along with me. Two on for Ducey. Marlon Anderson, Alex Arias. They're going to score on this. It'll drop in for a double. Ducey's three for three. Bottom six now. Ducey's fourth at bat. 
That's another single. He is four for four, and then again, that's his fifth hit. Five for five, and then can it be a sixth hit? No. Ruben, no. Ruben, you saw this highlight already. Ruben Rivera can't let that happen and does not. I know you saw this highlight before. I did before. not. All right, so you're psychic. Ducey goes five for six. His first career five-hit game. Trumpet. Again, the three-two pitch. And he hammers Likes that pitch, but look at Al Martin. Martin Measures up to that, robbing him of extra bases. Way Top of the ninth, Rockies down 2-1. Bases loaded, though. Angel Echeverria. Is it going to drop? It will. Echeverria with a game-winning hit there. Vinny Castilla and Todd Helton would score, but the Rockies up 3-2. And Chris Benson isn't happy. You'll see why. He gets the no decision. He pitched very, very well. He allowed six hits in eight innings. Steinbach in the first, freezing him. Bottom three, Jack Jones, the whiff, Christian Guzman, changeup. Pedro had it working, facing Matt Lawton, got him on the breaking ball. Bottom five, Martinez, Todd Walker, even in slow motion, it looks fast. Chad Allen, oh, that's not fair. The bow and arrow. Doug Mankiewicz, the new Britain Rock Cat, he gets punched out. Pedro getting Brent Gates. Get the feeling it was a man amongst boys. It was. Pedro goes eight, strikes out fifth. Taking him out, and he wouldn't disappoint. Top six with two outs, green. Coleman, a single to right center. He had a fat three for five night. He keeps the inning alive. Next batter, Carlos Delgado has been Del getting his freak on. 36th homer of the year, 15th since the break. 2-1 Blue Jays. Top eight, green again. Booyah! 34th homer of the year for the guy hitting 319 this year. Talk about a proud family. Blue Jays win it 5 to 1. The Blue Jays record their back shirts to support their hero. 4 2, two on, two out. Chris Kaplinski, bad hop. Jay Bell bobbles it. That's two errors on the play, all by Bell. Two runs scored. Top of the eighth now. Bell with a chance of redemption. Tie score, nobody on. And Bell. Rings redemption loud and clear. A mammoth moment at a memorable time as the Dimebacks were up 5 to 4 now. Bottom nine now. Manti on to try to close it, and Wilson. he gets Fabregas it's with over. some gas, it's and that should counter. make the Ice Girls rather Fabregas happy tonight. 5-4, the final. Jay Bell making up for a costly double error. Final of the fourth, all eyes on Sammy Sosa with a man on. Sosa, are we talking number 52? No, we're talking it's going right in the Ivy. Mark Grace would score all the way from first, though, on that. Sosa, two for three with a double, an RBI. Top fifth, 8-1. Jeff Kent up Off to add to the right damage. He gets around. The ball is going to hit off the wall and bounce onto the field. Now, a fan throws his glove at the ball. The ball girl picks up the fan's glove, much to the dismay of the fan. Now, after some talking, the ball girl finally gives the man a take your glove back. Bottom five now, 11-1 Giants. Jose Nieves, good placement right there. Marvin Bernard charging. Great catch. Giants win big time. Kent, the offensive hero with four hits, including a homer. This past weekend, of course. At least I think Sunday. they are. <laughs> Top of the first, no score. McGuire focused two against two Javier Vasquez. And McGuire knows there's no you know what in the champagne room. Number 51, a two run home run, putting St. Louis up two to nothing. McGuire. Bottom seven, Expos down 3 2. Ken Bottenfield. Jose Vidro, boy, was he hot in this game. Vidro, four for five with three RBIs. That drove in Manny Martinez and Rondell White. And sure, Matt goes deep, but. Cardinals lose eight third Milton against Scott Carl Eric Young will score from third two nothing Dodgers top seven three two LA Scott Carl against Trinidad Hubbard yep first on the year Hubbard's teammates have got to be very excited for him I really believe they are and they are that is excitement wow that's excitement for a reason Miguel Cairo Lines That's out to center, but right first there base um John Shulock says, wait, no pitch. Saying Parquet's foot was not on the rubber. Take another look. Not there. Take another look now. Hmm. This is Sports Center. Right. Carl would later fly out the left. How many shows are going to show you whether somebody's on the rubber or not, huh? The Bottom of the third. The base is full of devil rays for Jose Canseco, Mike right DeFelice, there. Miguel Cairo score. Ray was playing Two ribby right single for Canseco. Tampa Bay wins at 6-5. Wilson Alvarez improved to against Derek Wallace. Busts out the whooping stick. Two-run shot, number 29 for Bell, and the O's win 5-3-10. and 10. Bell's game-winning homer was career home run number 350 or near the number of blocks.